One of the biggest challenges of the world economy in the past few years has been inflation. But in a recent report, the Financial Times headline said China to export deflation to the world, accusing China of supplying the world with cheaper products such as new energy vehicles. Isn't lowering prices what the global consumers need? It's a common refrain, inflation is a form of theft from the poor. This has been evident in many countries in recent years as they grapple with high inflation. Inflation erodes the purchasing power of money, leading to a decline in the standards of living of the poor. Those rich with assets such as real estate and stocks may see the value of these assets rise with inflation, while those without such assets see their purchasing power diminish, further widening the gap between the rich and the poor. Certainly, deflation is a concern for the economy due to it often being linked with weak demand and sluggish economic outlook. Should we worry about deflation risks in China, there is no need for excessive worry. Many experts predicted that strong consumption in Spring Festival this year is expected to lift the Consumer Price Index, or CPI, to positive territory in February. Excluding volatile food and energy costs, China's core CPI has been staying in positive territory. International financial organizations such as the International Monetary Fund also predict that with a sustained improvement in domestic demand, China's price levels will moderately rebound in 2024. Last but not least, we should not overlook the role of technological advancement in China's economy in price levels. For example, prices of electric vehicles have been lowered significantly in China due to advancements in technology and productivity, not due to a sluggish economy. Many economists have postulated that the deflationary effects of technical applications such as digitalization and e-commerce could explain the subdued inflation in many emerging markets, which is evident in China.